Hey guys. Okay, so today we're gonna be talking about the five reasons why I homeschool. I'm gonna start this off. Your reasons for homeschooling or not homeschooling are great and I'm totally supportive of that. I'm not a person who thinks that everything has to be how I see it. I don't see life like that at all. I think everybody has their own thing and their own way of doing stuff and good for you. I'm just putting out why I'm homeschooling. If that helps someone, great. If that makes someone think I'm weird, also great because they're probably right. I'm okay with being weird. That's something I'm comfortable with. One reason would be socialization. I know everyone's like, no, no, that's the reason you're supposed to not homeschool. Guys, you're getting it wrong. No, I mean, really, honestly, that's one of the reasons I homeschool. Because, And my motto for socialization is quality over quantity. And I raise my kids with an end goal in mind. And one of my goals is that my kids can have normal relationships with people when they're older. And I really just want my kids to know how to navigate having normal, healthy relationships with people. I feel that that requires me to teach them how to socialize in more controlled settings until they're old enough and have shown me they're old enough to go out and be alone with a group of peers for, five, for eight hours a day. I don't think a five-year-old is ready to have that responsibility. Have you watched five-year-olds play? It's terrible. They should not be unsupervised for any large amount of time. So that's like one of my major reasons for homeschooling is socialization. I know I'm totally wrong. I, my second reason for homeschooling is let them be little. Kids need to play. Kids need to be little again. Today, like they are so busy. It's like you have to have 15 different sports, 10 different musical instruments, and you're at school for eight hours a day. So kids go to school, then they come home and they go to their lessons, and they come home, eat, do homework, and then go to bed. And I just don't see where they're being little. Let them be little. Like, she's eight. Malia's eight. I want her to be an eight-year-old. You know, playing, imagination, all those kinds of things. It's important for their mental health. It's important for their, for their education. There's tons of studies that kids who play more do better in school and do better with lots of things in their life. And I just think we've taken that away so much from kids. They can't play anymore. They can't be little. So let them be little. So one of our biggest things is family. I want my kids to have a very strong relationship with their family, with their brothers and their sisters, with me, with Tyler. So for me, homeschooling, it helps me accomplish that goal. And another reason is education, okay? So, <laughs> really? That's like the last one you list? Well, you know, gotta keep our priorities straight. No, education is a big one. My big picture goal is that my children learn how to learn. I wanna know that when my child is presented with a problem, they can figure out how to solve it. They can figure out how to learn it. They can jump in and do it themselves. And that's my end goal. So everything I do, we are learning how to do it ourselves. I am never going to be able to teach them everything. I'm going to miss stuff. I'm not perfect. There is no such thing as a perfect education, even if you public school. There's not, okay? And my mom went to a homeschool conference and she always tells me this story. She goes, his mom got up, her son was in med school and he was obviously homeschooled. So she's telling this story and she says, so he calls one day and he's mad because he doesn't know, he doesn't have the periodic table memorized, okay? And she's like, that never even occurred to me when I was doing it. I just didn't cross my mind. And he's mad because he's like, how could you leave this gap in my knowledge? There's a gap and I don't know it. And she said to him, I taught you how to learn. If you found something that you don't know, learn it. And that's how I view it. I'm going to miss stuff. I'm not perfect in any realm. But I'm going to teach them how to do it. And it's something my mom taught me. And I really appreciate it. So when it comes to school, I teach my kids how to learn. I don't worry about the little stuff. I might miss something here or there, but they're gonna be able to figure it out on their own. If it's something they need to learn later, they'll learn it. Okay, so another reason that we homeschool is fun. So I just think that things should be more fun and lighthearted in life. And so we homeschool, because it's more fun. We can get up, we can go, we can go on field trips to St. George, we can go on vacation whenever we want. We can just have fun. I like the being with my kids every day. Well, sometimes it's exhausting. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's hard sometimes, but sometimes it's super fun. And so I just think that 
fun outweighs the stress. So my reasons for homeschooling would change over the years. As my kids get older, as our needs change, but that's okay because everything changes in life. But right now, those are our five reasons why we homeschool. Make sure you guys subscribe and also comment below and tell me why you guys homeschool. Also gonna tag um, my coconut crew over on YouTube. I'm gonna link her YouTube channel below. She's also gonna do a video of five reasons why she homeschools. She's super great. She does a lot of book hauls. If that's something you're really interested in, head on over. I love her stuff. Subscribe.